Hello, my name is Petey Nice, and I'm here with your lockdown predictions. On my laptop, I have the several lockdown matches, and I'm going to give you play-by-play. -play. But, I am a little behind on the TNA Impact episoding by of at least 20. So, I just passed, passed Bound for Glory. I am going to go off of what I know to give you your best information of my prediction of TNA Lockdown 2013. The first match I have on my card here is the TNA Knockouts match, Gail Kim versus Velvet Sky. It's a rematch of last year's event at Lockdown, which Gail Kim was champion, and the match was won by Gail Kim. Velvet Sky just recently got the belt, as I understand. So I'm going to say we keep the belt on Velvet for now, and I had to be biased here because I am from New York. So, booty to cutie, let the pigeons loose. Your first match, Gail Kim versus Velvet Sky, TNA Knockout title. I am predicting victory for Velvet Sky. The next match I have here is Robbie E versus Robbie T. Now, I do understand that these two have a split after being a tag team for a long time. Don't forget that Robbie T used to be Rob Terry. And I have a funny feeling that Robbie E is going to suppress victory in this match. Finally getting over with the crowd by defeating him, his former bro, in a match. And eventually getting back into the TV title hunt or the X Division title hunt. Well, Robbie T will continue to work his way up and get those same opportunities as Robbie E. But I'm going to go for Robbie T versus Robbie E, the bro wolf. I'm going to have to go with Robbie E. The next matchup on my card is Joey Ryan, who I just saw win a contract, versus Joseph Parks. Now, if you don't know this, Joseph Park is abyss. Joseph Park is abyss. And I think that we will see a lot more talent from him now that we have seen in his past matches, like at Slam versus with Bully Ray. But I am a big Matt Morgan fan. And I, if Joey Ryan is still with Matt Morgan, I will have to say Matt Morgan somehow gets involved in this. Screwing over Joey, uh, excuse me, Joseph Park. in ensuring victory for Joey Ryan. So Joey Ryan versus Joseph Park. I am picking Joe, uh, yes, Joey Ryan. I was right that time. The next match I have here is the TNA X Division title match. Now... I don't know, I didn't want to watch uh, the Impact episode last week or in previous weeks. I know that RBD lost the belt. And I thought RBD seemed to be like a good champion from not watching, but I just had a feel for all the title defenses. Now, the three guys we got in this match are Zima Ion, who was the former X Division champion, to RBD, the new X Division champion, Kenny King, I believe his name is. Yes, Kenny King and Chris York. I don't know a lot about Chris York, so I'm, I'm going to stay away from him. But Zeal Ion beat a lot of guys in the X-Vision and hurt them. I'm going to say because Kenny King is a new champion, and I saw him before, I think he did great work. I'm going to go with Kenny King to defend the X-Division title here and maybe have a rematch with RBD some down, way down the road. I feel like TNA is going to push Kenny King very hard to ensure his... TNA X Division spot as a champion. And I would love to see Jesse Swordsman come back, even though I just noticed he took a uh, desk job. Uh, Jesse Swordsman uh, in Zima, Zima Ion's first victim when he broke his neck. But uh, I digress. I don't know what's going to go down here. So this triple threat X Division title match, champion Kenny King versus Zima Ion versus Chris York, I'm going to say... Winner and still champion, Kenny King. Now we got the TNA Tag Team title match. I'm not familiar with all these teams. I'm familiar with uh, Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez, who I recently said I watched Bound for Glory. I, I just saw them win the championships. I feel like they have good chemistry, both being Mexican, and I feel like Chavo's size and Hernandez's size, Chavo can do high flying, and uh, Hernandez can really do the power. Now, Bad Influence, which is now the new name of, I believe, of Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, 
I think these two have talent. I think they were a little wasted in the AJ Styles storyline. They should be in a more tag team, putting these titles on the line a little bit more. But I digress. They're going to put on a great showing in this lockdown match. New champions. I'm not very familiar with the tag team of Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. But I saw Austin Aries as the X Division champion. One of the greatest X Division title runs I've ever seen. And World Heavyweight Champion, I've seen a lot better. But he did all right saying that he didn't defend the belt as often as he should have. He only had two defenses. So, for this triple threat match, I'm going to say the champions retained, because the champions just won the belt. Like, uh, like uh, what's his name? Kenny King won the X Division title, and the Velvet Sky won the knockout title. So, for your triple threat TNA World Tag Team title match, champions Bobby Roode and Austin Aries versus... Chavo and Hernandez, that's Chavo Carrero and Hernandez, if you were just wondering. And versus Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels and um, uh, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. I'm sorry, that's slipped my mind for a second. Kazarian's name. I'm going to say winners and still TNA Tag Team Champions. Um, what are their names? Oh, uh, Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. I looked. I hope by. Um, Slammiversary, I'll say this at the end of the video too. I'm going to end the Slammiversary that I'm caught up, and I probably will be, because I'm very into the TNA uh, Impact career now. But I am going to WrestleMania, so it, it, it could be a little bit off, because I really try to watch a lot on thir uh, Thursday night, Sunday nights. But let's move on to the next match. Uh, excuse me, I think I heard a beep. I'm not sure if the camera actually died. No, it did not die. It must have been something else. So I'll worry about it after I'm done with your next three matches according to what I have here. Now, the next match is a steel cage match, which is what light, uh, light down, <laughs> Lockdown is famous for. Uh, it's Kurt Angle versus Wes Briscoe, I believe his name is. I've never seen Wes Briscoe. I know, though, he's part of Aces and Eights, and Aces and Eights works like a very hard tag team to beat. I saw him them win at Bound for Glory. So they have full access to the Impact Zone if you don't remember that. Uh, I know Kurt Angle is one of uh, uh, a really tough guy. He can really do it in the ring. One of the best all-around technical wrestlers of all time. I'm going to have to be a little biased here and go for Kurt Angle to win it. Only because I have never seen Wes Briscoe is his name? Wes Briscoe. Uh, I feel like the referee's going to be knocked out if Angle hits the Angle Slam. And he's going to make him tap out to the ankle lock. Which the referee won't see. And he'll climb over the top. Get it. And we're on to a lethal lockdown. The lethal lockdown is... I don't know who got the man advantage, but... I know, I know. This is just me just trying to get back on YouTube. Trying to become... Trying to get you guys' attention again. But, but um... Let's say it was Team... I believe the name is Team Sting, right? Team TNA. Team TNA got it. They will have two on one. And then it's going to be two on two, two on three. Uh, this, uh, the, the main advantage goes to whoever won. I don't know if Team Aces and Eights or Team TNA won. But I'm very impressed by t the Team Aces and Eights. They've been very dominant, even in my short time seeing them, the four months I've seen them. Anyway, so it's going to be three on three, uh, three on two. I don't know how I mentioned that. Uh, four on three. Is there four or five guys in this match? There's five guys. Four on five, five, and then eventually five on five. Now, you, I want to say something about Eric Young, who's in this match. I don't know why he's in this match, but he's still the TNA uh, Knockout Tag Team Championship champion. One half of them with ODB, his wife or his uh, kayfabe wife. Um, they have not defended the titles since lockdown. That's been a year. It's now been a year since they have not defended the titles almost. So I don't like Eric Young in that perspective. That I think he should be stripped of the tag team titles. Uh, the knockout tag team titles. Now, what interests me, I was I actually tuned into um, TNA, and it looked like Magnus and Simone Joe, the former tag team champions, well, I thought had a phenomenal time as a tag team, are back together. I do think these two will be lethal in this match, along with Sting. Right, Sting is in this match, right? And James Storms. James Storm is an all-out athlete. He's, if you saw the match with Bobby Roode, you know that James Storm can bleed and he can take it. But I'm going to go with the Aces and Eights here. And at Slammiversary, where it's almost all started, we're going to end this. 
I'm going to say Doc, who is formerly known as Lou Gallows. Devon, who is the uh, TV champion, which really just defended, but um, I digress there. Um, who else? Mr. Anderson, who I have not seen turn heel yet, but I did see him on with Taz doing commentary. I think uh, they're going to do good there. Having someone like Mr. Anderson, a main event, former world heavyweight champion there. Um, and they got Mike Knox and Garrett Bischoff, which I'm not really sure how they're going to play out because I haven't seen them in TNA as well. I, I mean, I've seen Garrett Bischoff under the tutelage of Devon when they were faces and kind of take out Aces and Aces. But other than that, i never really seen them. So I want to see them turn heel. I'll see them by Slammiversary, definitely, I'll, when I report to Slammiversary. I'll be here for WrestleMania 2 before I go. Uh, I'll report on Thursday, then I think I'm going to. But I digress. And I'm going to go check out our main event match of the evening for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Again, I'm from New York, so I'm going to just be biased here and say um, it's on my mind. And Bully Ray. When I read Bully Ray was taking on Jeff Hardy for the TNA World Heavyweight title, I was like, yeah, we're going to have a champion. We're going to have our champion. This belt comes... I know it's not this belt. I know Jeff Hardy just redesigned it with his, but I don't have that one, so this is what we're going to talk about. This CNA World Heavyweight title will come to Bully Ray. He's 24, 23. Who cares? I take the champion with Devon. Now it's time for him to be a world champion. This guy's worked his ass off over the last year. Two years since... The between 3 d Dudley split, and I think he's ready. I I have a personal issue with Jeff Hardy. I'm not really sure why he's champion. Of course, I read Hulk Hogan is wanting to be champion because he missed so many days. I have to understand that to be true. That I don't know what Dixie's going through, but Dixie Carter's the president, and she will do what she wants to do. Um, I don't think that Jeff Hardy should be where he's at. I think he should... Well, well not, not, not really. I'm sorry. Jeff Hardy has cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to say he's good for where he's at right now. And But I still think Hulk Hogan's right. And we're going to have to get rid of Jeff Hardy as the champion. Um, I think he had a phenomenal reign from what I read. I saw his match with Austin Aries at Bound for Glory. It looked really good. Um, and I think that's how we're going to end our show. Now, there is one thing that happened on Tuesday. I'm sure the world, the wrestling is um, alluded to. Paul Bearer passed away. And I like to say in this uh, video, rest in peace, Paul. You were one of the greatest managers. You were so nice to me when I met you at that one autograph signing. And I'm happy that you're dead because you're back with your wife. I know it's a sad thing to say. But I, uh, now that I see he's back with his wife, they said to see the poor bearer passed away. I'm sorry to hear about that, but he was a great manager. He could be seen on TNA. He was on main event. Uh, he opened up with the rest in peace. Um, as for Monday Night Raw, I think we'll have a video tribute to him. And um, if we don't have a uh, tribute to him, I feel like the tribute might be the Hall of Fame induction junction clip. I can say this year or next year, Paul Heyman, uh, Paul Heyman, I'm sorry, I keep on saying that. Uh, to myself, I've been saying that. Uh, Paul Bearer will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. We love him. We will miss you, Paul Bearer. Rest in peace. Have fun with your wife. Rest in peace. And I don't know if this is the correct sign, but you managed the Undertaker doing that. Rest in peace. The last thing I want to show you is the autograph that Paul signed for me. Paul, rest in in peace. No, 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 not like that. Paul Barra, please rest in peace.